All right, I'm getting ready to test this circuit out, and uh, got my uh, antenna, which is the wound coil. I got my uh, ground two, which is the new ground. It's only five foot, but um, connect the antenna here, and the ground is connected. And let's see if this thing will build. And I got nothing. <laughs> Boy, that sucks. Alright, so this is my roof connection. I got a metal roof. I'm going to try connecting to that. Yeah, the roof seems to make it climb quicker. That's good. It's still a slow climb. It's not very good. Let's see if disconnecting the other antenna helps. Nope, it seems to like both of them hooked up, so I'll leave them hooked up. I also have the house ground here, on, off. Just got to connect to that. So let's try to connect the uh, both grounds. Oh, I hate these little alligator clips. There we go. Oh yeah, something happened. So I got the roof and both grounds hooked up. And let's see how far it climbs. I'll be back. It was actually, it looks like it's gone as high as it's going to go. Hmm. Things bouncing up and down about 100 millivolts. Let me try to switch the grounds. So I'm going to switch... Uh, Ground two. Oh, this will be ground. Ground one. This is a house ground. Oops. Alright, and this one will be. This will be ground two. Hmm. I got a negative number. What the hell does that mean? This is the roof connection, is the positive and ground one house ground as negative. Uh, let's see the uh, millivolt, milliamp meeting, reading. I got nothing. Hmm. A quick check, I do have something here uh, 1.4 microamps. This is uh, the roof connection to ground to 107 milli volts and 0.3 microamps.